Howdy there, true believers. Welcome back to New World Nerds. I'm Superman Nico, and in this video, we'll be talking about the Birds of Prey trailer that just dropped today. Yeah, what's up, Fresh? Look at how punctual I'm being. Look at this trailer breakdown, same day as the trailer that came out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It'll technically be a trailer breakdown, but I'm going to do the ups and downs of this trailer. The stuff I like from this trailer gets an up, the stuff I don't like gets a down. And yes, I'm stealing this from What Culture Wrestling, Simon Miller. You are my idol. I just want to be like you. I'm really just stealing the format of giving the good bits an up and the bad bits a down. I don't believe what culture has something like this for a trailer. Sorry if you do. If that is the case, then I will never do this again, but I kind of like the idea. Ups and downs, ups and downs. I think imitation is the highest form of flattery, so you guys should be thanking me. What culture wrestling? not a sponsor. Yes, we have a full length trailer for the Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Surprisingly, that only took one take. Who would have thought? The intro took more times than that. The trailer starts with narration by the one and only Harley Quinn. And I don't know if Margot Robbie changed the voice up a little bit, or I just haven't seen Suicide Squad in so long, but I like how her voice sounds. We're just so used to like Tara Strong's voice from the animated series. Harley Quinn narration, the beginning, give it an up. I'm a less buff Simon Miller with hair. We are told that Harley Quinn and Joker broke up in this movie. No Joker being in this movie. I'm gonna go ahead and give that an up. I know a lot of people would want me to give that a down. We're getting Joaquin Phoenix's Joker here in October. I think throwing in a different Joker in February, I think that would just confuse a lot of people. Also, Harley Quinn is her own character and she doesn't need Joker in every one of her stories. The biggest up for this trailer, I know we saw them in the promotional posters that they released yesterday before this trailer dropped, but we got the hyenas from Batman the Animated Series and that was so cool. Spotted hyenas. When I was a kid, I used to think they were jackals for whatever reason but it makes a lot more sense for them to be hyenas because you know the joker hyenas laugh uh, there's something there i love harley quinn and the hyenas lady in the tramp moment with twizzlers it looks like it looks like it's twizzlers i'm gonna be honest i'm not really much of a red vines man i am a twizzler man go ahead and attack me in the comments if that in the trailer in fact is a red vine i'm gonna have to give this moment a down you gotta look at black canary singing on a stage i love the actress playing black canary i saw her in friday night lights i thought she killed it in that show I love how they made this black canary a singer i'm so excited to see her canary cry in this movie. Say what you want about Justice League, but when I saw the effects of the Flash in those trailers on a movie budget compared to the show, I was pretty impressed. Give Black Canary an up and also give it another up for not showing us the Canary cry yet. Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress looks great. Go ahead and give her an up. And now that we're here, go ahead and give her another up for just being in 10 Cloverfield Lane. I love that movie. Not just that, give her a down for being the villain in Sky High. How dare you try to throw William Stronghold out of that gymnasium. We got Ian McGregor as Black Mass and Ian McGregor always gets and up. I really like the theme of rediscovering who you are amidst a fundamental change in your life, like Harley getting rid of the Joker. In those kinds of relationships, victims always lose the sight of their own value, so I'm excited to see Harley Quinn rediscover her value in this movie. She don't need no man to decapitate you with a mallet. It felt like a little bit in Suicide Squad that they were kind of romanticizing the relationship between her and the Joker, but hey, it's not the filmmaker's fault that people are dumb and think that Harley and Joker are relationship goals. I'm gonna go ahead and blame hot topic on this one. Go ahead and give an up for awareness. Harley says it's like a sleepover and that they should make some Cosmo give an up for casual cocktails. We get Harley dancing with all those guys that end up being extras and that this is American music video. That bit at the end of the trailer in the car actually didn't land for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a down. But if the pacing is right in the actual movie, it should land. Before we get out of here, we gotta do our only segment of these Tuesday Upload Subscriber of the Week. Subscriber of the Week, bah, bah. Subscriber of the Week, bah, bah. Comment down below to get in our next video. Woo! All you gotta do to become subscriber of the week is leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave an awesome comment that will be read on next Tuesday's upload. The subscriber of the week for this week is Javier Guzman. Good luck, dude. Keep up the good work. New subscriber here, Notification Squad. I love to support fellow small YouTubers, LOL. Thank you so much, Javier. We very much appreciate it. Overall, the Birds of Prey trailer was pretty entertaining. It was a little Harley heavy, but they have to sell this movie about lesser known comic book characters to your average moviegoer. Everybody knows who Margot Robbie is. A lot of people know who Harley Quinn is. People will show up for Harley Quinn, but people will stay for Huntress and Black Canary. Thank you guys so much for sticking all the way to the end of the video. I very much appreciate it. Leave a like down below if you feel like we deserve it. Comment whatever you want to see on the channel. Please, if you wouldn't mind, share this video. Tell a friend about New World Nerds. We'd very much appreciate it. We are 23 subscribers away from our 700 subscribers our goal of 2019 and we still got a couple months left but let's get it as soon as we can let's be productive we won't procrastinate wait till december 30th first and be like oh no we need 23 subscribers let's get them now follow us on twitter at new world nerds and keep nerding out there true believers pew, 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 pew.